Alright guys, I'm going to record some more PlayStation VR, and I'm going to record Astrobot. And, um, <clears throat> it's probably one of the best games on the PSVR. It's probably one of the best games of the current generation, and it's, it's definitely up there in the one of the greatest of all times category. And, um, I recorded some footage last night, and the microphone got a little messed up so hopefully it'll be better this time some of the levels on here are really bright and they don't come across very good on the camera so i just and some of the levels came across fine so i'm going to continue with some levels that i haven't played yet and i just hope that they'll look all right um i'm going to go ahead and get the headset on and stuff so basically there were there are some free demos that you can download for the PSVR. There's three um, demo discs, and it's actually not a disc, it's just a download, but, and they each have different samples of games, uh, you know, a ton of games to choose from, and Astrobot was on one of them, and my cousin told me about Astrobot when I got the PSVR, how a lot of people say it's one of the best ones, and I didn't play it right away. I tried the uh, Drive Club VR first, and I really liked that, and I ended up playing, um, oh, I played, I think, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here right now, I've got the game, <laughs> Battlezone, um, played Battlezone, the tank game, and, and that was awesome, and I don't know if I played Astrobot after that, or, uh, I waited to play Astrobot. Well, when I did play Astrobot, um, that game, the game made me smile, and I was like, yeah, this definitely deserves any kind of hype that it gets. It's it's a 3D platformer, and, uh, ugh. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the game. I'm going to sit down, I hope the mic's not getting messed up. Sometimes in the game, uh, it's helpful to stand up, um, because... You can look around, and you have to look around to um, to help him. So for this game, you don't use the Move controller or anything. You use the PlayStation DualShock controller. It has a light on it, and I don't know how this technology works, but it's controlled by lights. Basically, the uh, headset has lights on it. The DualShock has lights on it. You know, when you use the Move controllers, they have lights. Mm -hmm. And so it, it tells where the lights are. Um, so when you start this game, there's this spaceship with the Astrobots on it. And then there's this UFO that comes up. And um, see, now I'll have to adjust this camera. Well, that's messed up. It's not where it's supposed to be. Maybe I'll just try to stand up and play. Anyways, you're with the spaceship with all the astrobots, and then this UFO with this mean alien comes up. He starts shaking the ship and tearing it apart, and it scatters all the astrobots, and so they're scattered to all these worlds that you have to go to to find them. And each level is basically like a hallway. You start at the beginning, and you got to work your way towards the end, and along the way you're trying to find these robots that are scattered throughout. And they're hidden. Some places are more obvious. Some places are harder to find them. You don't have to find all of them to complete the level, but eventually you do have to go through and find them um, to unlock levels later on. And so on some of these previous uh, levels, I haven't found all of them yet. I'm going to continue on. Now what you see on the screen isn't everything that I see because I got the 360 view and you probably don't see as much on the screen as I do. But you can see the controller, you can see the controller on the screen and you can when you use the buttons, it'll show the buttons moving, and uh, you can actually use the controller to like hit enemies with and stuff like that. Um, you can headbutt stuff with the visor when you walk into it. Uh, there was one time I had to blow into the microphone to blow on this dandelion that like that spread and it did something. And there's the touchpad on this controller, and sometimes. You get like a grappling hook tool or like a water spraying tool that you can use. And so there's a lot of um, different things you can do here. But uh, let's see. 
I'm trying to sit down and get it to where it needs to be. I think I kind of got the configuration a little messed up. Anyway, the music and the colors and the design of this game is like really cute and awesome and it, it made me smile when I played it. And pretty sure it made my cousin smile too. Okay. So this one I'm going to get the grappling hook, I can already tell, in that box. So he starts off on your controller and you push the touchpad to, to get him off of it. And then you start controlling him. That's like when the game starts. And I always look around at the beginning to see if there's anything behind me or whatever. Um, the square button punches. If you hold the square button, then he'll do like a spin punch move. X jumps. And if you press X again, then he glides. And if I glide over enemies like that, it'll kill the enemies underneath of me. You know, or I can punch them. Or I can hit them with the controller. So there's a lot of things you can do here. Those rings are for the grappling hook I can attach to. So I punch this box. The box comes up and there's a place to insert the controller into it. And then... It's showing me now I got the grappling hook tool. I use the touchpad to shoot the grappling hook out. Now I attach to that and now I can pull the wall out. Or you can also have um, the Astrobot jump on the cord and then like balance on it to get the places. Then I can also toss them up in the air by moving that. So you can see how there's so many different things you can do. Now there's one of those bots that I need to get. So you walk up to him and you hit him, and then it sends him into the controller. And so it shows that I got one in there right now. In each level there's different amounts of them. Now here's where I'll probably blow on that thing. It kind of did it on its own. I know this... Now this thing down here is a checkpoint, so if I die, I'll restart right there. Oh no. Stuff can hit your screen. And temporarily blind you, kind of. Obstruct your view. There was a part where there was like hornets, and they hit me with the stinger. And it like cracked the screen. And so, there's these open levels like this. There's another robot. There's like an underwater level where I was swimming. There's like levels inside of a cave. There was a level where I was like on a cart and that was really cool. I was like on a track and I had to jump back and forth on the track. Um, the coins you can do different stuff with. You don't have to get all the coins. Um, but there's, there's a, a place where you can go to, you can use the coins in like this toy grabber thing where um, you unlock different set pieces and you can just kind of mess around on the set pieces. And there's also like bombs inside the toy grabber so <coughs> um, you can lose your coins if you accidentally grab them. But there's some places where you go down lower, or you go up higher, or you go more to the left or to the right, and you really gotta move your head. Sometimes you gotta stand up. I don't think that my headset's exactly synced up the way it should be right now, but it, it's working good enough.
Oh, look at that. I know you don't have to hold the controller up when the bots get into it, I'm just kind of doing that to show. They'll just automatically go in there. There are also boss fights at the end of each world. You have to fight a boss. See, now he's getting kind of high up there where... It's not completely hard for me to see him, but... Oh. Dang, I'm missing that. I guess I'm not close enough. There we go. Whoa! No, 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 no. I almost fell off. Checkpoint. No, 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 no. I'm going to just let that thing kill me. <laughs> Basically. So I was messing around. Oh. Hmm. Also, there are chameleons that are, like, in each level that are hidden. And if you spot the chameleon, then um, you unlock, like, a challenge level. There's somebody down there. No, oh, whoa. That was close. Okay, there's a bot all the way up there. Oh, come on. Gotcha. No, 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 no. I wonder what hitting these little totems are all about. Ah, uh, crap. How am I supposed to get across there? Oh, uh, that's kind of tough. And once you've collected the robot, you don't have to again. And so if I finish the stage and there's some that I'm missing, I can play again the same stage, and um, only the ones that I missed will be left. And I don't have to get the ones that I've already gotten just now. Huh. I really don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. Can't do it that way. Uh uh uh. Maybe I can go up there. I'm just gonna skip these coins. Hmm. I don't know, I might have to forget that guy over there. There's the flag, that's the finish. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Oh! 
<laughs> okay, I gotta quit messing around. I really wonder how do I get over that guy, though. Oh, there's a grappling hook up there. Oh. Oh, can I pull that down? Oh. What's this do? Oh. Whoa. That's how we do it. Oh, no. I still messed up. Oh, man. Oh no! I accidentally pulled the grappling hook out. It was terrible. Alright buddy, come on. What the heck? What the heck is this? At the end of each level you reach this flag and then um, it lets out all the bots and they all put out rings out there and then the astrobot goes on this bungee cord thing you pull back and you try to shoot between all the rings try one more level. I wasted a lot of time on that one. I should show you how you can hit an enemy with the controller. I got all of them. Awesome. Sweet. I didn't get the chameleon though. I don't know where that was. It's kind of rare that I get every single one of them. Oh. This almost looks like another cave type one. This would be pretty cool. And it'd probably show up pretty good on the camera, too, so... It might be hard to hit an enemy with the controller because I think it's off-sync right now. Kind of. It is cool, though, you, you sync up the controller at the beginning of the stage like that. So, I don't really see anything around me. I can hear one. He's up there to the right. Whoa! Now this is a cool view. There's no music right now. It's kind of unusual. How do I get up to him? Get in there. Alright, now these up here, if you wait, they unload spikes so you can't get too close to them. I don't really... Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> See there, I hit it with the controller. Don't know if you caught that, but... 
Now this is the thing you'd headbutt. He's going to walk underneath, and I'm going to walk head first into that. It breaks it. Seems kind of messed up that there's no music. It's like, is that a glitch or? It's a skeleton of one of the robots. I hear one of them. I don't see him. He's in the pile of bones. Ooh, put the controller in there. Okay. There's just always something new in each level. Now the music's starting. This game's just... It's, what, it's just so fresh. Uh, oh! It hit the screen, so it cracked it. How do I get up to that guy? Okay. I can get up here. I see. Alright. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh! Whoa, 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 knocked me off. Dang it. That screen's showing me what to do. Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 Right there was the checkpoint, too. Okay. No, I jumped too early. Hmm. So you gotta do the spin move for that those top things. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to go through there when it opens up. should have jumped at the end of that. Now I'm stuck over here. I can't get that guy. Oh, I can get him from over here.
Oh, I'm a... darn it. I can't get that guy though. Sorry, bud. Whoa, I got a duck that's like saw blades coming at me. Oh, dang. That's something. Look like all the way down this duct here. That's so cool. I just kind of want to stand up now if I can. Oh! Hit the screen. What do I get this time? Okay, I've never gotten this before. A throwing star. Nice. Okay. This game just gets more and more awesome as you play it. Okay, oh I gotta stop the spikes from coming down. It was, oh! Dang! Oh no, there's a trap door! This makes you turn the controller sideways to go through the bars. It's pretty cool. No, 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 no. Huh. Well, that's the end of the level. Got six of them. They always dance at the end of. They do the dance that Carlton did on the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and then like the Saturday Night Fever dance. Crazy. Hmm. How many did I miss? I missed two of them. All right. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. It's fun. Ugh. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.